Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this tutorial video for the Radio Master Pocket we're going to take a look at global variables and flight modes. Now where we can we can link a flight mode to a global variable. So if you wanted to have say a trainer mode then the rates for your ailerons can be a lot less. But as soon as you flick the mode switch and say I now want to go into sport mode the rates would get go back to the normal rates. Um, you can do a, a, a lot with the global variables. That's just one of the examples that you, you would be able to use. So let's uh, switch over to the radio and I'll show you where you put the global variables in and how you use them. Now let's take a look at the radio. What we're going to do is hit the model key and we're going to go across. And what I want to show you first is the flight modes. Now what I've done for the flight modes for the, the fixed wing aeroplane We've got armed is flight mode one, two is disarmed, and I've got high and low rates. And you can see that I've set up the switches that I set up there. The disarmed and armed one is uh, switch SA. In the forward position is disarmed, and therefore in the back position is armed. And then I've turned the uh, switch SB into a two position switch by saying that the high rate is, is six B, uh, SB forward. And if it's not forward, then it must be on the low rates. Now, if we take a look in here and we go to the flight mode, which is the armed one, you can see I've given it its own rate on global variable one, which is 100. Now we come out of here and we go into disarm. And I've done the same there, but it is 100, but it's copying flight mode zero. And you can see, so if I click this and change that to own and then come back, it automatically puts in whatever we put in flight mode um, zero. So if we changed it, it would change it here automatically. And of course, we've got the switch, which I already discussed. Then we go into the high. And if we look at that, same again, it's picking up flight mode zero, which is 100. The weight would be 100. Then we go into the low that's uh, flight mode three. If we edit here, you can see it's a switch SB not in the forward position. But here, I've now said own. I've not picked one of the other flight modes. I've given that flight mode its own rate, which is 60. So if we come out of there and we go across. Now, this is where the big change is. If you've watched my video on setting up a fixed wing plane, you will know, notice there were two um, entries for the ailerons two for each of them now it's only one and the reason is is because of that global variable so if i push uh, enter and edit if we go down what i've done is i've said i want it to put the weight in as g1 as global variable one but also so there's that's it so the weight comes from there now if i go into the second aileron so instead of putting a weight in there of whatever weight we want, 100 or, or 60, we just put global variable one. Now, so once we've done that, if we come out and uh, whether I've armed or disarmed, but let's arm. Now we are on low rates there. Let me. So I've gone to rate profile one, which is the high. And if you see, I'm now getting full throw. Now, if I change. Now I'm getting low rates and if I accidentally switch to the next level on that switch towards me, it's the same. So now we only have to have one entry for the aileron, but it, the depending on which flight mode we are in is which rate it will use. So you can see we can use that for a lot of different things on our aeroplanes, but I hope this explains it. If it doesn't, please ask in the description below and I will uh, try and clarify things for you. And there we go. I hope you found that useful. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.